So throughout the program, we've talked a lot about internal rigging kits or bash kits if you're from the caving community. And we want to break down what that is. We've talked about it, but most people are visual learners. On the table here, we have one of a couple of what we term as bash kits. Inside of this bash kit is some equipment that we'll get into, but we're generally talking about a small pack, something that's easily carried in between the legs if someone's climbing up and down ladders, or on the back if the space allows for it. We're not talking about large rigging bags in this case. These kits, as mentioned before, are going in with our recce team or our recon team, or going in with internal rigging teams. Inside of our bash kits, we have a small pouch of gear, and we have one rope with both ends out. We're running a nine millimeter rope in this kit. It's a Technora sheathed rope, so it's got a little bit more edge abrasion protection, and it's split so we have both ends. So we have 300 feet of rope in this bag, split into 250 foot segments, and it's separated by a divider in the bag. Why 150 feet? I mean, it needs to be mission specific, but at 150 feet, when you look at knots and tying and you know bends in the rope, we're talking about a 45 foot segment on a three to one, or about a 35 foot segment on a four to one mechanical advantage system. So when you think about that 150 feet of rope, is the biggest space you're gonna have to haul either horizontally or vertically greater or less than that? and you can adjust your bash kit or your internal rigging kit accordingly. Inside of the bag, once again, fairly mission specific, but also more light and fast. Smaller type slings we're using instead of the larger things. A limited number of carabiners. Using devices that might have multi-functions, we could use this to climb, we can also use this as a rope grab. Smaller pulleys. Smaller rig plates. And we also get into things like revolvers or other small types of built-in pulleys into carabiners. We've got Grigri's or Grigri Pluses in our kits to run with a smaller diameter rope. Of course, remembering now to match your kit so you don't end up with something where you have, if this is a problem for you, something that doesn't pass a whistle test on one of your two lines, for instance. Once again, the reason we split the lines is we can have a main and a safety, or if you're running dedicated, that's if you're running dedicated main or safety, or if you're running twin tension, you can have both lines go out at once. We also carry a parabiner in here or an HMS beaner, which allows us to run a munter or a super munter should the need arise. So it does give us a few options. This is not for hauling people, you know, a ton of distance. We're talking inside of confined spaces, in ships holds or things like this, small, compact, and mission specific. 